they said, well, surely we get 10 million in our dynamic applications lifting our rod strings, dividing tensile strength by 1.75, and their tensile divided by 4. And notice again, it still, minimum still goes through the 45 degree axis through zero. However, none of our designs are supposedly going to go in compression. It does result in a fact, in, in a, in a equation. This one is a, uh, Maximum allowable stress is uh, factors there, and then they show what here an S of S. What is S F? And that is a service factor. And then they're going to show you the definitions there. And we'll talk about the service factor here in a second. But let's look at how many people know how to use that diagram. Who, who knows how to use that diagram? Okay, let's look at how to use it. So we get a dynamometer. It could be from a, the, from a design. It could be from actual going out and weighing a well. We'll get some well loads on dynamo and card. We'll get some dough in the rod string, and we'll just assume for this one it's a straight taper and with a 875 inch rod diameter. And there is the minimum load. And if we take the minimum load, 9,100 pounds, divided by the cross sectional area. I B squared over 4, the stress there then results in 15,141 PSI. Similarly, there's the peak polish rod load, and knowing the cross-sectional area, divide that into the load, we come up with a stress of 29,768 PSI. So now what do we do on this diagram? Well, here is the modified movement diagram. There is T divided by 1.754. This D-grade rod with a tensile strength assumed to be 115,000, which is minimum. So that's T divided by 1.75. So the maximum load in most cycles would be 65,714 PSI. So let's look at how to use it. Well, we know our minimum load results in a minimum stress of 15,141. We enter it here along. There's our, our stress axis. And we intercept our minimum load. And at that, we then go up where it intersects the maximum allowable load and then read across at the maximum allowable load there. Notice it's 37,267 PSI. We also now put a point here, that's our peak polish rod load, or peak stress of 29,766. Again, taking that peak polish rod load divided by the cross section area is 29,768, so there is 29,768. Notice it's not all the way up to the maximum allowable load. So we can then take our rod loading, our 29,768 minus 151, 151, divided by the allowable, and now we see our rod load is only 66%. And that's what the computer programs do. But you can do that all by yourself, if you care. We used to have to do this by hand decades ago. It's showing your age. Okay, so that's the first thing is how